now uncheck the map so you can see your map like this i have i didn't have digitized all of my uh, features information but for the practice pur purpose i have created these formation and you can see that here in global mapper so now we will export this map these formations and structures how we will export it now go to the tools and the tools and here from here select the map layout now you can also load the def uh, default um, template but i don't have any template so i will select the paper size from here and i will select a, a4 a4 size and landscape okay it's uh, the landscape and portrait depends on your map style so my map style is just like portrait a landscape so i will select the landscape this suit me very well now select the bounds now when you select the bounds i will select uh, select it from here and now draw box so i need this selection this area to be selected like this now click ok and ok and now again click ok so a new prompt of uh, layout will be appear like this and from here you can move this map like this and this uh, layout view you can zoom in zoom out from here like this and you can also use the pen to move your map like this okay now we will add a uh, grid symbol uh, uh, legends north arrow as well as the uh, scale for this i will I, I can also insert it from here go to the insert and map legend map legend north arrow scale bar and text element i will and i can also right click here insert and you can insert all these from here align to margin you can align it i will make it centralize like this So you can see that this area is empty this and the, a lot of area, area is empty so uh, how we can minimize this area let me remove from this and now let me arrange it like this now go to the properties and from the properties go to the size and position now you can change the position of your map and also you can change the area or size of this map so you can select 22 centimeter now let me make apply it so you can see that uh, now uh, let me make it 20 or 21 like this and now let me arrange it to arrange it you can centralize it align it and make it in the center like this okay now click on it uh, I think I should increase the size a little more 23 now click OK and now let me align it in the center like this so now insert insert the map legends for the map legends you can select number of legends now click ok you can also change the uh, font style from here like this but i don't need it right now so i will click ok so you can see that the legends have been added to your map
now double click on it or go to the properties and you can also change the phone I will make it 12 regular 12 ok and now click again click ok so the okay you can place it here okay now let me insert the nav arrow you can select a lot of north there and the view will are available for all of it let me select this one okay and now place it here make it smaller like this and now again go to the map legend and scale bar You can also go to the properties, select it and go to the properties and you can change the font as well as the style from distance units and all these things. Label all text marks and do not label text marks and you can also apply all these settings to the these, this scale. Now click OK. Now I will export my map. So let me. I you can also t uh, change add the text uh, for the um, title, but I will leave it for now. Now go to the file and export. Export is a geospatial PDF. Now in the geospatial PDF, select the DPI all current page or if you have a lot of pages you can select all or current page now click ok and I will select in the PDF format now it's been now go to the that folder and you can see your map has been exported successfully all of the formation and structure have been labeled uh, you can also add the different um, symbols within the uh, Coral Draw or as, well, uh, as well as in another editing software. This is how you can digitize geological map within the global map. And sorry, uh, we have we didn't have added a grid to the our map. So let me add grid as uh, also to our map. So right click on the map and go to the properties. And the properties go to the grid frame and select the grid latitude longitude grid and now click ok so you can see that the grid is not in the proper uh, alignment so i will go once again to the uh, I, I just need all of these grids labels perpendicular here or align with the map so go to the size and go to the grid frame and now here select the Parallel, uh, select this one parallel to the frame select this one and ok so all of our uh, labels are now parallel to our map now go 
file export your special PDF you can change the DPI from here and click OK and now let me now save it it's, it says it's unable to uh, export it so I will change the name ok in goal map to save it now let me see our in goal map 2 and now you can see the coordinates as well uh, as your geological map the digitized geological map within the global map